back. We had a little technical difficulty, but we will move on. Okay, so I put that last red uh, gem on there, and they do like to fall. That's what you need tweezers for. Move that down just a bit too far. Yeah, you don't want to use the uh, rubber end of your katana too much to push things because it'll uh, not be able to stick very well. So you want the tips about in that general direction. You know, whatever makes makes your boat float. And of course, guys, it doesn't have to be perfect. And then you just give it a little love tap like that. Turn it constantly, and I don't have enough glue on there. I got it up too high. How about that? So as I said before, you just take it and you just give it a little squeeze, and a little bubble of glue will come up. You don't need that much in general. There we go. All right, where was I? Pick it up. You place it. And actually, this these could be down farther, but that's okay. No, it's not okay because it's going to get away of these stems here. They're supposed to be down farther. Anyway, you get the general idea. We'll just change it up a little bit. Time's a wasting. I learned this trick on another video when you want things to turn over. It doesn't work too well with these things. Anyway, pick it up. Place it where you want. Give it a little love tap. It'll take a while for that glue to cure, so you can play around with it pretty much. There you go. Then, you know, you turn it around, and we're caught. All right. A lot of you asked me where I got my snowflakes, and you can get them at Walmart for $2.98 for 20 pieces. And they come in silver and gold, too, but they're not as pretty as the white ones. All right. Back to the demo. If I hadn't sent a, said so before, you're going to need t 10 of these uh, gem pieces. And then if you got a whole bunch of the other ones, you don't really have to count because pff, who wants to count that high, right? I can math. And then our last one. Just give it a little love tap. There you have it. Then you want to do these things next. Always do your big uh, gems uh, last. And you know the great thing about this is that you can put the glue on everything and don't have to worry about it drying like you would with a hot glue gun. Get over there on the right spot. There you go. And see, you just give it a steady pressure. But, you know, uh, if you squeeze it too hard, it's going to be a bigger bubble than you need. I learned that the hard way. Get that out of the way. Then you just pick it up. And just tap it. Sometimes it'll fall off your katana just right, and if it doesn't, you know, no biggie. Just give it a little love tap. So get over there, Maynard. Yeah, you don't want to get in the habit of using this end to push things into the glue. You don't want to do that. But if you do get glue on this, just wipe it off with a clean paper towel. And then if it doesn't start sticking after that, um, according to the video, and I'll link it at the bottom or somewhere close where you can read it, um, take a nail file and just gently rub where it's not sticking and it'll get that off, whatever it's, is stopping it from sticking. Oh, just 
just ignore that one. And it's, it's just so easy. I mean, move over silhouette. The katana is here to stay. Oh, it looks like I forgot to glue those ends. And just a gentle pressure. And that's all you need to do. Sometimes they're a little stubborn. That's okay. I'm more stubborn than it is. Ask anybody. Ask my camera woman. She'll tell you. That was your cue. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then, you know, just flip it over. Get things in, a, you know, just a little tap. You may have to adjust to where it is. But it's just really simple, you know. It's not hard. It just looks hard. But it is time-consuming. You probably want a neck massage and a back massage after this is done. Like, honey, buddy, come here. I need your hands on my neck. And rub it right here. <laughs> Alrighty then. Now when you do the outside, it's okay to go ahead and do the big ones um, because they're, they're spread out so weird. So we'll put a bead of glue here for the big ones. And you'd be surprised at the size these things can pick up. Now the gems I'm using, some of them are from Dollar Tree and then uh, not these particular ones. These particular gems I got from Hobby Lobby in a case. So then you just pick up a big one just like that. You just tap it on there. Well, I really tap so much it's just gently lay it on there. There we go. I have to give you uh, give a link of the lady I learned that from. It's like, oh, why didn't I think of that? Ever had one of those moments where you're like, don't? And you guys, you know, just use any color you like. I mean, I just think that red and green looks to get really well for Christmas. And you flip it over and just tap it in the middle. Don't have to press real hard because the glue uh, will cure pretty fast after you get it placed. And just, you know, a tap. You may have to hold down the snowflake a little bit. And there, you know, it just builds and builds and builds. Now, um, the last ones that we do on the end, it doesn't have that middle thing here. I don't know if you can see that very well. But you have the uh, hook here. So I just put a dab of glue right there so it matches all the other ones. And then, you know, get a glue dot like this. And just gentle pressure. You don't have to squeeze too hard. Depends, you know, if you want a big bead for, like, the bigger gems, yeah. We're done for the with the glue, and then we go through it all again. And guys, this is really a no-brainer, or should I say, ladies? Nope, there's gentlemen in our group too. That's right, y'all. How about that? Give me my Missouri y'all. Just give your bowl or your plate a little swish and it'll make your gems pop over the way you want them to. And I like to go back and forth between each side. I don't know why I do that. But to me, I just... Whatever works, right?
There we go. And once you get used to doing this, it just it goes really fast. But you know, you've got depends on whether or not you're making just one or a set. Now I only make these in a set of two because this is really tiring, especially for us old birds, you know what I'm saying? And there you go. Then you go through and you tap each one. These are dry by now, so you can use that to hold it in place. Just give it a little love tap. All right. And then we're done. Yes, I messed up. <laughs> I didn't have any more of these little red ones, so I went ahead and did it all in green. But you get the general idea. So I'm Rhonda Trout, the Snowflake Lady. If you liked what I was doing, let me know. And if you want me to make more tutorials, um, I'd be happy to. Um, just let me know what kind of design that you had liked. You'd like me to see uh, that you would like me to do on camera. And y'all have a good evening.